Hi, my name is Hilary Stevens. I'm the coastal geologist here at the Coastal Resources Center at the University of Rhode Island. The Coastal Resources Center's Coastal and Fisheries Governance Project for the Western Region of Ghana had its start when President Obama visited Ghana in 2009. He provided funds for addressing food security and biodiversity conservation. USAID Ghana wisely chose to pilot a program in the Western Region to address issues such as the declining status of coastal fisheries and its direct impacts on nutrition, the resilience of fishing villages, and the challenges brought on by greatly accelerated development in the six coastal districts. We act as an umbrella, bringing together multiple stakeholders and institutions to address these important coastal issues which are described in further detail in the report called Our Coast, Our Future. The risks from natural disasters and the concern over climate change impacts, such as sea level rise and changes in rainfall and temperature, extends through all of our work. Our goal is to assist communities in the Western region to become more resilient. We are working with district governments to build their capacity and incorporate climate change adaptation into land use planning and decision making. We recently sponsored a training course for district officials on climate change adaptation, which was led by the University of Cape Coast Center for Coastal Management. The participants learned that sea level rise and extreme weather, such as more intense rainfall, will significantly transform the coastal landscape of Ghana through erosion, flooding, saltwater intrusion into water supplies, and other ecosystem changes. People are already witnessing extreme weather every year during June and July in the western region. In Shama District, flooding in July of 2011 on the Anangkwari floodplain displaced 625 people and caused crop and livestock destruction. Experts at the University of Cape Coast Geography and Regional Planning Department are mapping shoreline features and hazards for the entire Shama coast. They are using the land use information provided by local residents to help identify current and future areas of flooding. We believe that the coastal area's remaining pristine wetlands and floodplains need to be conserved. Where it is feasible, degraded wetland areas should be restored. This will increase their capacity to absorb runoff and reduce the risks of flooding. Some urban settlements will require more effective drainage systems to provide long-term protection to residents. It is important that every shoreline protection proposal is carefully assessed and designed correctly so that these projects do not cause more problems than they solve. It is also important to consider a wide range of actions such as building farther back from the shore and protecting coastal features such as dunes, mangroves, and wetlands so they can absorb some of the impacts of waves and high tides. Residents of some highly vulnerable coastal settlements such as Krobo and Onlo Beach are already seeking to relocate to higher ground and need help in resettling to safer permanent locations. We invite you to follow our progress as we carry out vulnerability assessments and adaptation planning in these communities in the coming years. We will be working to strengthen leadership and increase our information available to coastal districts. We will also be testing out key adaptation measures so we can understand the best ways to reduce exposure to hazards and climate impacts and improve local resilience and community quality of life.